and welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy A Puggy. So we're on to the Sonic uh, Knuckles part of the playthrough with Knuckles, and um, indeed uh, that means us getting the Super Emeralds once again. Yes, I am getting all of the Super Emeralds, and that means me editing all of the um, instances of the special stages out, of course. So yeah, so indeed, uh, yeah. As for, um, uh, did I say Mushroom Hill Zone? Again, um, I don't know, Act 1 starts off a bit different in certainly the Sonic and Knuckles portion. Uh, you are able to get a fair few more, um, uh, did I say special stages than, um, um, in Sonic's playthrough from what I've seen. Um, as I say, so yeah. I actually started the episode off from the, from me finishing off one of them. So yeah, so I already have um, the first Super Emerald as it were. And using these swings is actually quite beneficial if you're using Knuckles because you can combine it with his glide and uh, traverse quite a bit of, of the stage. Seriously, it is quite fun. Although those butter droids are not. Seriously. <clears throat> If there's anything um, uh, about Knuckles Glide, he is vulnerable to flying enemies. And there's another super ring, and then we go back. Yes, yeah, seriously. So, indeed, um, yeah, nothing much different here with uh, the Red Echidna. But um, uh, the bosses are also the same. Which is interesting when we get to flying batteries on. I don't know if I do the second act though in this episode. So yeah, there are a lot of ri uh, giant rigs, seriously. I already got to another one. I already just finished the last special stage, seriously. Yeah, I went into a lot of um, special stages in Act 1 alone. Well, let's not just um, forget about Act 2. But uh, we'll get to that. Firstly, let's do some more swinging and grind uh, gliding, sorry, not grinding. Well, that's Sonic's thing in the adventure games. Anyway, yeah. And... I do not like those Mushmeenies either. Yeah, that's what those numbad nicks are called, Mushmeenies. And I've already went over those guys. So, yeah. And towards the end of here is... Probably where we will fight the boss. As I say, so... Yeah. Of course, it's the Lumberjack boss, as I said, um... In, uh, my, in the Sonic playthrough, so yes. If anything, Knuckles' um, uh, jump um, doesn't actually affect this boss. If there's anything different about the um, the attack pattern of the Lumberjack, he does toss his um, logs um, like diagonally as opposed to um, straight towards you. So that's the difference with this boss, but nothing much else, really. You can still hit him rather easily, even with losing his shield. Now for Act 2, of course, this is where Knuckles uh, turned on the power there and sent Sonic flying. Uh, with Knuckles, he just barrels through the things like nobody's business, seriously. And uh, even though um, the, um, the whole layout of those things changes, seemingly, yeah, apparently the Egg Robo sets up the whole um, machine again because they are turning, uh, well, blue and they're green of the mushrooms. So yeah, and then, apparently I need to spring, I didn't even see it there, seriously. Uh, but yeah, uh, jump on his head, jump, yeah, I'll just go downwards normally. Uh, there isn't any giant ring over there, so we can go um, away from there, I guess. But, well, let's see. And um, is that enough to... Yes, it is! Good. So we can go over this way. And another um, annoying... Uh, what should I call? Uh, Dragonfly Badnik. Yes, that's what they're called. And more of this as well. I do not like this at all. But I've, I've already said that. So, um, when do we get to the thing? I don't know. Um, seriously, I don't know. Uh, let's go to the left and get some more rings. Yeah. Uh, some of these can throw you off. 
Um, well, maybe not from someone like myself, but um, yeah, maybe they can't throw you off actually. I'm, I'm just rambling now. But uh, this is where we come to the part that really shoots me up with knuckles. Uh, because beyond here is where we'll get another swing and um, the thing. Now, with knuckles, we cannot. Um, Actually, we can get up there, but I don't want to. I want to take the lower route and uh, go through the things just for the, the sake of um, difference, I guess. And another super ring. And once again, we're back. So, indeed, let's head to the right and um, wait until Mr. Dragonfly goes upward. Yeah, I can't think of anything else, so we'll go with that. And then jump down, I guess. And then, well, you get the idea. Seriously. What's interesting is the Mushroom Badniks also turn green. Yeah, I'm guessing that's down to the palette of the Sega Mega Drive. That's all I can think of, so yeah. And then go up here, and apparently glitch our way through the, the loop de loop Seriously. And there's still one more special stage here to go. So yeah. Do I go for it or do I just go straight up? Let's see, I think I do go for it. And then, um, it's just a short distance to the boss and stupid cloak. Stupid cloak indeed. I do not like these guys. So indeed, I thought he crashed there. Seriously, I do not uh, like those cloakoids at all. Uh, for reasons that you've seen, they blow you off. Literally. Uh, but beyond here is where the boss is, so at least that's something. And it's mostly the same as before with Sonic. Um, as I say, jump on the uh, satellite, um, pound him a few times if you can, and then you get to the boss himself. If there's anything different, it is the positioning of the spike balls, because sometimes you'll run into some that's just... Um, 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 like, uh, there's some in between, and apparently my thing crashed. Oh well, um, that being said, um, on the next episode we'll head to Flying Battery Zone. So yeah, and that one is interesting for the Act 2 boss. There's something Sega missed out in that, and I will see.